Hey, what's going on guys? Al Desha here. And today I want to talk about my non-football, basketball, and baseball autographs that I have. I have a few, not too many. Um, they're far and few, they're far and few between on opportunities to get these things. But I do have a few that I'd like to share with you guys. Um, and first of all, years ago my son was in the hospital, in children's hospital, and um, recovering from a surgery. And when you're you have an extended stay at a hospital, at least for the for the children's hospital. They like to have people come around to rooms, you know, volunteers, maybe to entertain uh, kids or um, give them gifts and things like that. And when he was in there, the hospital had some special Olympians um, going room to room and um, talking with the kids and signing a calendar. And the calendar that they gave us doesn't have special Olympians in it. It has um, regular Olympians, past and present. And this is from two, 2010, 2011, so it's been quite a while. So I don't know the names of the people that are on here because they're not in the calendar, but they were they were very cool, very nice. And at the time, I didn't really pay attention, but I thought they were signing their pictures, but they're not. Um, got one, two, three, four. The only one I can really read is Stone. Um, yeah, I wish I could tell you who these people were. Um, these are not in the calendar. And the calendar is just regular calendar. Like there's um, Sean White and this guy here, Ben Watts. So it was very cool that they hooked me up with, or my son up with these autographs, but I, unfortunately I don't know who they are. I'd have to do quite a bit of research to figure out who was on the Olympics team at that time. All right. So I kind of lied. This one is football related, but he's more known as a coach. And it was awesome to add this to my autograph collection. John Madden right there. Very, very cool. From the world of tennis, and I think this is the only tennis autograph that I have. And you, you don't have to trust me on this, but it's Anna Kornikova right there. I mean, if I didn't know, have the name on the envelope when I got it back, I wouldn't know who it was. Uh, from the LPGA, this is the only female golfer I have. Paula Creamer, right there. I actually sent that one to the, the LPGA uh, office and they got forwarded to her, so that's very cool. And women's basketball, WNBA, I believe. Rebecca Lobo, right there. Very cool. And I think this guy, he had a lot of hype at the time when he, when he was a rising star, so to speak, but I think he turned out to be pretty much a bust. And that's uh, DC United, Freddie Adu. Let me know if I'm wrong, but I didn't hear much about him after, a short time after I got this autograph. It kind of just kind of faded out. And I believe this is my only, my only PGA, uh, PGA autograph I have, and that's David Duvall right there. I actually saw him in person at a, a sports store, I can't, can't think of it um, right now, but he was actually in person, that was pretty cool. And World's Strongest Man three times, this is an old picture, so it might, the numbers might have changed. Three times World's Strongest Man, two times Arnold Classic Strongman Champion, Brian Shaw right there, it's very, very cool. This guy is a monster, man, he, he's gigantic, he's, he's very nice, but, you know, he went to my uh, son's school and he made an appearance years later and signed a bunch of autographs, gave a motivational speech, which was very cool. And this one is old. This one's probably from 96, 97. And it's the Indy 500 winner, Buddy Lazier of 1996. And you can see that's on the uh, United Airlines ticket sleeve when I used to work at the airport on the concourse, right there. I wish he would have signed it a little more not in the dark blue area, but oh well. Now I have some racing autographs, and I do have, I did the video on my um, my track related um, autographs, NASCAR, and I think um, Formula One, um, and I framed those, and I've done a video on that, but these are uh, drag racing autographs. Uh, and I just forgot to write down this guy's name. He actually went to my son's uh, junior high and he signed this and I can't remember his name right now. If you know what his name is, I have it scanned and I could look it up, but I totally forgot who this was. My, my, bad. my bad. 
And a few years ago, I went to Mile High Nationals up in the foothills of um, Denver. And I got uh, some some of the racers were there signing autographs while they're unloading their vehicles and things like that, getting set up. And I've got Tommy Johnson Jr. right there. Antron Brown, right there. Leah Pritchett, right there. And this was very cool at this particular um, Mile High Nationals. I believe it was Brittany Force that was racing and John Force, her dad, and her dad um, set a, a course record or a, at the time, and this was probably four or five years ago, at the time and uh, so it was very cool to see uh, the forces race and John force especially and here's one of my favorites um, I've had this guy this is from 95 um, Don the Snake Perdome and Mongoose I forget what Mongoose's real name was but they were big names when I was a kid in racing and I got Don Perdome